Hi, my name is Rebecca Hay, and I've been teaching art up at Art Custodium. Um, students who, some of them are very talented, just like anywhere else. It's been quite delightful. Um, they're all anxious to learn. They're all anxious out to try new things. And it's really a very good, positive kind of place to be in. I mean, I came here in 02. It makes me about 18 years. I moved from Illinois. I was at Champaign-Urbana, Illinois, the home of the great University of Illinois. And that's where I did a lot of my artwork. I did go to the Art Institute in Chicago during the summers. Fabulous place. And then I went ahead and got my undergrad in sculpture. I finished up with um, a master's in landscape architecture. It's really, really a lot of things that are now going on in art that has never ever gone on before. When I went through school, all we did was paint with oils, watercolors, very little pastels. And I thought I was doing so well. All that. <laughs> but now I am painting all sorts of different kinds of medium. I'm using acrylics. I, I'm using a lot of pastels these days. I am combining oil paints with pastels, combining pastels with acrylic paint. I'm putting pastels on top of acrylic paints. I'm using underneath. There's all sorts of different new ideas about using pastels with all sorts of different media now. And it's so exciting to be doing all this stuff now. I love also encaustics. Encaustic is pouring wax onto your canvas. You will find that it's a way of loosening up your art. I can do very rigid things in art, painting, but uh, to do looser kind of art, Encaustics is the way to go. The, the challenge is to get students to try new things. It's very hard. They get all caught up in um, the little dot here or there. Dots are really important, don't get me wrong. But when you have a purpose for the dots and a way to put them into the painting, then it, it becomes a very important dot you know, or a line or a scribble. I think it's very important to learn the basics uh, you know, reading, writing, and arithmetic, but in art you need to learn design, color, composition, uh, papers, uh, media. It goes on and on. Um, and there's all sorts of different magazines out there that you can get to read and find out new techniques. It's overwhelming sometimes uh, to try to keep up with what's going on in the art world. And I think the magazines are also having a hard time of how to say where our society is going. It was very important at one time to draw a face exactly like the face. Now they're saying, hey, listen, faces have a lot more going on them just than hair, eyeballs, nose, and a mouth. It's opening up to all sorts of different things. And I think it's particularly important for you to go ahead and do art where you love what you're doing. If you want to do something very realistic, then then use your use your equipment out there that can help you, like a projector. Or if you like abstract, go ahead and start throwing your encaustic on the, the paint page. And if you feel comfortable, it all depends on where you're coming from. That's what what's really makes great art. I find that I enjoy doing most everything. I find that uh, then I can go ahead and if something isn't turning out, I can recreate it and make it into something else. Keep experimenting, keep trying. That's what's important. And pretty soon you'll find yourself famous. <laughs> I'm not going for the buck, but the main goal is to go ahead and continue to experiment how I'm experimenting now and try new methods and try new ways of creating art. I've gone to workshops and I've thought, oh my gosh, this is absolutely terrible. 
I've gone back and looked at my artwork and said, oh my gosh, I really did learn that something at that workshop. So keep trying and pretty soon somebody's going to love your artwork. Courtney, if you're interested in any art anyway, or if you're interested in painting or any one of those things, you know, certainly come by. They'll teach you how to use the the paintbrush, they'll teach you how to use the computer. It goes on and on. Anything that you're interested in, come and tell them and they will support you and help you out in your endeavor in the art world. I will do commissions if anybody wants things done. I like to add things to things and make it my own work, but if you want something done, I will try my best to make it yours. Sometimes the phone works and sometimes it doesn't. My phone number is 559-784-1766. I do have a cell phone. It's 559-359-3800.